Okay, here we are at the Washington Post. Uh, this article is titled, Monitoring America. We're on page two. I will provide the link for you. This is something I encourage you to read. It is an eight-page article. But I want to just show you some of the stuff that is in here. There's a lot of things. Every, almost every paragraph contains something that is very chilling to me. Anyone that believes in freedom, this is a very chilling article. I'm going to go down here to page, at the bottom of page two, right here. The DHS is enamored with collecting photos, video images, and other personal information about U.S. residents in hopes of teasing out terrorists. So they want to collect information on you even though you've broken no law, committed no crime. There's no due process, no judge, no jury. You are guilty. Now let's go to the next page, page three. Now I'm just highlighting some things. There are a lot more things in here that will upset you or should. If you are somewhat awake, you should be very upset by a lot of this. So, let me scroll down here. Um, the one that I like here, okay, scanning license plates. Um, now police officers in Memphis, Tennessee, I believe it was Memphis, somewhere in Tennessee, they had a grant from the Department of Homeland Security. They have these hood mounting cameras that scan license plates automatically. It detects them and will run the owners. If there's any criminal activity associated with that owner, uh, it will pull something up. Not only this, the computer in the cruiser can tell an officer even more about who owns the vehicle, the owner's name and address and criminal history, and who else with a criminal history might live at the same address. Whew. All this information can be cultivated all together. It is being, what they say later on in this article, connecting the dots. That's not the end of it. Let's go down to FBI suspicious files. Okay, there is this top secret vault on the fourth floor of the J. Edgar Hoover building. This one stores the profiles of tens of thousands of Americans and legal residents who are not accused of any crime. Not accused. But we're going to collect your information. We're going to hold it on file because someday you may be accused or a criminal and we'll be able to connect the dots. Now to some of you, I know as sheeple, it sounds reasonable. Pre-crime. There was a movie Tom Cruise is in. I don't know the name of it, but I remember it was uh, about pre-crime. They would arrest people before they even committed a crime. This is what we're coming to. You're guilty until proven innocent. You're a slave. We know where you are. We know who you are. We know what you live. We know your buying habits. Credit card transactions are being reported real time now. You are not free. Now, let's look at this. What they have done is appear to be acting suspiciously to a town sheriff, a traffic cop, or even a neighbor. Wow, you know, you've seen the screens in the in Walmart and now they're announcing they're going into 9,000 retail locations, the Department of Homeland Security blasting their propaganda to you every time you're at a checkout line. See something, report something, or some say something, see something, say something is their new campaign. Wow, even a neighbor. Hey, you know what? Ted lives next door. He's after the same position I'm in in this job. You know what? If I report him, that might cause him some problems at work and I can get that job. See how this can turn into um, just a terrible thing, ladies and gentlemen, because th this is making people paranoid. It's making them scared of their neighbor. It, it is not helping our country in the least. Let's go down to, let's go to page four. Um, let's see. What was I wanting to look at here? Um... Yes, Here, here's the part says we where we want to connect the dots, the dots have to be there. So let's go ahead and gather all the information of our American citizens without a warrant, without due process, without a judge, without a jury, anything. Let's make sure that they are guilty so that we have all this information that we can use against them someday. Now here's what bothers me. 
people are concerned about privacy. FBI officials say anyone with access has been trained in privacy rules and the penalties for breaking them. Okay, yes. So I believe the government. I believe the FBI. I believe the people that told us there are no weapons of mass destruction, or that there were weapons of mass destruction. Oh, well, I guess there wasn't. These are the people that said there are no death panels in a new health care bill. Oh, well, yes, we do have those death panels, but that's okay. Uh, take your shots because they are safe, and mercury is good for your children. Have you seen on my blog, I do have a, a news posting there. Uh, from CBS that says mercury is good for your children. So bring in your shots. It, it's perfectly safe. These are the people that we're supposed to trust that are going to make us safe. Yes, please calm down, sir. Drink your fluoridated water. We will take care of you. That's why we need your information. For your safety, sir. Take your fluorides. Drink your fluorides. Drink your uranium-laced water. Take your shot. Make sure there's plenty of mercury in there and squalene. Make sure we have all that. Just calm down. We love you. We're going to take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you believe that, I've got some oceanfront property on the moon. And there is a platform out there made of green cheese that you can dive off of. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to wake up. We need to end this tyranny now. I encourage you to read this article it's mainstream media you know everyone says well I gotta listen to mainstream media well here it is they're hiding it out in wide plain view take a look and digest it okay ladies and gentlemen here we are this is the MIAC strategic report this was in February 20th of 09 some of you may have heard of it some of you uh, this may be the first time now they're talking about the modern militia movement. Now militia is very important to the beginning of our United States. The Minutemen were militia. These were free standing citizens that defended this country and their right to be free. Now the attempt here is to demonize anything related to militia. If you notice that any of the overseas reports now of um, they talk about a Taliban militia just to dem demonize the word militia. Uh, do yourself a little research. Take a look at what the militia movement means, or what the militia means. It is in our Constitution. Check it out. Now, I want to go down to page 7. Let's go to page 7 of this report. Okay, right here. Political paraphernalia militia members most commonly associate with third-party political groups. Right now, okay, now... This is most militia members, not free Americans, not good guys, but militia members. You know, there are many free Americans that are not in the militia. I am not in a militia, but I do believe in third-party political groups. I believe in Campaign for Liberty. Um, and if you're a supporter of former presidential candidate Ron Paul, Chuck Baldwin, or Bob Barr, you are a potential threat, a terrorist associated with a very bad militia group. Now, militias in themselves are not bad. Militias are good organizations. Now, there probably are some crazy people out there in these groups, but not as the government or the MIAC report wants you to think of them in your mind. Anti-government propaganda. Okay, militia members commonly display pictures, cartoons, bumper stickers that contain anti-government rhetoric. All right. Look at these. Militia symbols. Don't tread on me. That is not a militia-specific symbol. This is the Gadsden flag. It is part of our United States history. Don't tread on me. With the, with the snake, rattlesnake warning you. Don't tread on me. And so what that's saying is, I, have, I am dangerous if you tread on me. I'm giving you a warning. Leave me alone. I want to be free. I want to be left alone. I don't want any government intrusion. That's all that means. Here's another example. The upside down flag. The militia uses this as a symbol of nation in distress. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a flag code. It's not <laughs> specifically the militia. It's for anyone that thinks our country is in distress of personal property. You are losing your life and your personal property. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part of our flag code. That's how you show people you are in distress. This is not specific to the militia. It's another stretch to demonize the militia movement. 
oh man this country is in trouble let me tell you many people will buy this propaganda they will eat it up and when you say militia they will quake in their boots oh my gosh someone protect me from the evil militia these people are free they they want freedoms I don't want that please protect me please take all guns please let me please prod and poke me in the TSA line so that I know I'm safe Oh, give me a break. Okay, let's move on.